Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to review uh, some new release Hot Wheels um, as well as some older stuff and we have um, some of their um, premium line uh, all metal rubber tires. Um, a little bit older stuff there um, but we're going to run on all of that in this video and then we'll continue on with uh, another video for uh, some Monster Jam and some Green Light. First up from uh, Hot Wheels here is going to be their um, their HW50 race team, uh, so their 50th anniversary stuff. This one um, I have featured, I just grabbed another one, the Fast Master. So it features, um, you know, a nice, it's a kind of a dull blue, but has the 50th logo wheels, 50th logo in the back, Hot Wheels across the door, as well as the hood. Kind of a fantasy type vehicle, but it is part of the set, so I'll collect them. These are new releases, um, 2017, and you want to pause on there. This one I do not have yet. It's on a short card, but I do prefer the longer cards only because the artwork um, is a little bit nicer. You get more of it on it. But this one here is the HW50 Concept. So again, features the same type of um, a paint job, 50th wheels. Logo on the um, 50th logo on the door there. Kind of an interesting little vehicle. These are just your basic release, so metal body, plastic base, plastic tires. The wheels are pretty cool though with the, the 50th logo on them, but the packaging for this stuff is basically all the same. Uh, this one here has also uh, been featured on the channel before. Um, the one with the bikes on the back, the uh, Rise and Climb. So. Again, all part of the 50th uh, anniversary set. Shows the uh, the bikes on the back there. This has been in a regular release as well. But same uh, same type of work as all the other ones. The only thing that I was able to find is they've uh, recolored it in a uh, nice kind of a red here, and kind of an orangey red, I guess. It's basically the exact same thing, but um, features the same rims. Same logos, everything like that, but just in a recolor. This is a brand new case that I found. So if you need any of the information there, it's on the back. 2017 release. This one I haven't been able to find, but I was able to finally. Bone shaker. So this one features the blue 50th rims, 50th logo there, Hot Wheels on the door. They all feature really similar tampo work, but it's just your standard bone shaker that you see in all the other releases. Again, these are all the same. I have quite a few to go over, so we're going to kind of run down these a little, probably a little quicker than we normally would. But um, again, bone shaker here, but in the recolor of the um, kind of red orange there paint job. So. You can see they do have different numbers on them though. Um, you can see that one features three. This one features seven. Not positive on that. I haven't done any research on these vehicles. I just literally found these in the store, so I grabbed them. But um, basically the same vehicle, the skull on the front there. Just uh, different uh, paintwork on them. Other than that, they're, they're the exact same. All right, I did feature this set. Um, I just wanted to show you guys, I found these uh, actually at, uh, I'm in Canada, so I found these just at my dollar store, but Bone Shaker. This was the only one they had, so obviously they've been getting them in. I haven't had any luck finding them, but um, pretty neat little vehicles. Like I said, I did already feature the set of these. Um, only one I don't have is going to be the Chase Camaro, but everything else, the uh, gold and black. 50th anniversary. So you can see the full set there. 2017 release. And then, like I said, there is a chase piece, which is the uh, Camaro. All right, a few basic line releases here. These are brand new. Um, like I say, I haven't seen these anywhere yet. Um, but this is part of the HW Art Cars. Cool combi. So as I stated before, I love the Volkswagen stuff. So these are pretty much awesome to collect. I collect any any and all of these if I could find them. 
but they got really cool tampa work got the hot wheels logo on the on the roof peace symbol some cool graphics there two-toned wheels but uh all around pretty cool car Jeez, that's the case there if anyone wants it and the release date i was able to find two of those so i did pick them both up next one up we have is going to be crate racer so this is like i say something not a vehicle i really collect it's just a um just a fantasy vehicle but as you can see right there this is going to be a basic treasure hunt for this case so so we did pick that up and you can see that it's it's quite uh well hidden in the, the flame work there as it is a circle flame so but other than that, I mean, it features the, the motor actually rocks back and forth. So pretty cool if you um, want to collect these type of vehicles. But that is just a basic release. So it's just like all the rest of them, just a metal body, plastic base, and plastic tires. All right, moving on to then and now. This is going to be the Porsche 934 Turbo RSR in green so pretty cool um color here the porsches are pretty desirable i i like them and they um you know especially these ones with the big uh, whale tail and whatnot pretty cool in green again just a basic release so metal body plastic base plastic tires there's the case information if anyone needs it or wants it some fun ones hw sports teed off two so this has been featured in various colors this one is going to be obviously in orange it's got the uh big chrome motor sticking out there ready to go i guess golfing get you around pretty quick on that thing found two of them my daughter enjoys these ones so um picked them up but interesting little casting here so doesn't look like it has any real special features it shows something with a ball in there not exactly oh you must feel oh i see you can actually set like a probably set a golf ball actually on top of that neat we got a recolor here so this one was featured hw metro Baja Holler. So this was featured in a previous video in green. So this is the plumbing company one. Features the uh, tailgate that flips down. Um, the logo obviously is the same, just in a different color, as well as the truck. But again, just a basic all metal plastic uh, or metal body. Typically the cab's not, but it's plastic, but plastic tires. So this one actually features a metal base and plastic body. Number two of ten. And then you can see here it shows you the opening feature. And the last one up. HW Art Cars. I just thought this one was kind of neat. So HW Papa Wheelie. Neat little vehicle here. So they've done a, a bunch of colors and whatnot with this. But I just thought the... Uh, graphic work and vehicle were were pretty cool so if you like collecting these type of fantasy cars and just fun ones definitely want to grab this one there's the information on it and again these are all these are all brand new releases um brand new cases at least in canada i mean these have probably been out in uh, the states but these are brand new release um within like other cases are just out in the last couple of days up next we have the beetles so i already have the full set of these uh, vehicles um the one that was hardest to find was the volkswagen van um, i tried to buy it a few times at some um like um collectible events and stuff like that people ask really crazy prices for this stuff um so I was lucky enough to go there and find multiple cases of the Beatles, full sets. 
So I got myself a few Volkswagen vans. Like I said, these are um, quite desirable to me, just the fact of it being a van. And I can't stand scalpers that like to charge ridiculous prices for something that costs next to nothing. So I bought a bunch of these. I don't plan on reselling them. If anybody maybe needs uh, one to complete a set that they can't find, um, I might be interested in just, um, you know, helping you finish a set or something. Um, but I'm not going to be asking ridiculous prices for it. Um, I paid uh, less than $2 for these each. So um, that's all I would want back for them if I did decide to do that. Um, but like I say, they're pretty neat vehicles if you haven't seen them. Um, the full set is actually on the back here. So um, there's a bunch of them bump around and a few other vehicles there. The Morris Mini. This has been released um, quite a few times, but um, I like the vans, but the first thing you go there on the pegs and the vans are all gone, which is fine. I mean, if you get there first, grab them. I mean, everybody does it. I just don't like the fact that everybody buys them and then they go and sell them for 10 times what they're worth just because you went and bought them all and you know they're hard to find and everybody wants them. So I bought them because I like the van. And I'll open up one and I'll display one and I'll give one to my daughter and I'll still have some extras. So like I said, if somebody maybe needs some help or hasn't been able to find them or doesn't want to pay the ridiculous prices, we might be able to work something out. But that's them. They're not new by any means. Like I say, they've been out. And as you can see, I got a few of them. So if you um, like these, there are seem to be hitting the Toys R Us stores. So... Uh, get out there and get hunting for them. All right, we got a few more just uh, basic release. Um, so I showed you um, just in the uh, previous ones there, the uh, recolor of the uh, plumbing company one, the Baja Holler. So you can see it was available in uh, the green and the blue. So we're just going to run down these pretty quick here. You got the Buns of St Steel, Fast Foodie. So this has been done in white and orange. Neat little casting. These are all again, just uh, plastic metal, plastic tires. So if you're looking for any of these, um, they are new and out there. Dollar store is just hit getting some of this stuff and they've had uh, some pretty old Hot Wheels sitting on the pegs for a while now. So they're finally getting some new cases. This stuff's not necessarily real new anyway. It's been out for a little bit at Walmart and that, but it is nice to see them if you haven't been able to find them. Time Shifter, HW Metro. Pizza delivery. Just a, a fun little casting there. Um, neat vehicle. Got two of those. Daughter will like one. Got a, another Checkmate, the Volkswagen Beetle. This one's been a bit hard to find. Um, lots of people do like the Volkswagen, but this is kind of the... They did a lot of the, um, the tuned version. This is basically the stock Beetle. I think that's why it's... Uh, been so popular haven't seen it for a little bit but uh, it's a uh, all metal casting on this one so, pretty nice graphics can't go wrong with that there's the back if anyone wants to see it this one's been out uh, for a little bit as well HW R cars the uh, Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect got a pretty cool little graphic work there this was a treasure hunt in the previous ones so it's been released uh, quite a bit in different uh, colors. The two-tone wheels is neat. But, oops. Muscle Mania, the Dodge Charger Daytona. Neat little car here. Um, this one's also been released in blue and a bunch of other colors, but it's got the big motor sticking out there. Um, cool little muscle car back in the day. This is kind of the uh, cartoony version of it, I would say, but it's uh, still pretty cool just to have it in the collection. Neat on the casting there. A lot of detail work for a $1.25 car. Got a, another zoom in. So just going to take the uh, GoPro Hero 
five. You can race it down the track with the camera on it. Kind of neat, but just something collectible to have. Checkmate series again. This one is the King Cuda. Awesome muscle car. You can see there. Doesn't even have a hood on it. Got the motor sticking out. Very cool graphics with the uh, the checker, like the chess series. Sorry, not checker, but um, pretty cool vehicle. Classic muscle car though. So we got. Oops. Next one up is the HW Exotics. Not sure why really, but it's a 17 Ford GT. So, neat car. This isn't one of my uh, most favorites, but um, lots of people like it. And I just collect uh, the different colors just to have them. But um, wouldn't be a car I'd personally buy in person if I could afford one. These are all new release, 2017. All right, we have HW Metro, the uh, Tesla Model X. This one I didn't have yet, actually. So, the girlfriend found this, which was perfect. Add to the collection, cool little graphic work there. Energy, they're an all electric vehicle if you don't know what the Tesla is. And there's some art. Some information on the back. All right. Again, HW Exotics, the Lamborghini, Guntage Pace Car. Pretty cool. I got a few of these. Um, neat little car here. You can see it's got the 50 Grand Prix on there. Goes hand in hand with the 50th anniversary. Eh? But pretty cool vehicle. If you like those type of vehicles, there's some information for you. Last one we got, HW Flames, very popular casting, 32 Ford. This one's been released in many different colors, but uh, it's a classic car. I mean, you see these even at car shows today, so um, pretty cool to see it in the casting. Various colors, you can see the flame work, it says early times on the door. There's a Hot Wheel logo on the corner there. But uh, pretty nice if you like uh, classic muscle cars. And then a little bit of information there if you want it. We'll move on to some uh, older Hot Wheels. Right up next is some older stuff. Uh, most of the years are from late 2000s. A couple like 98, but they go up to like 2012, I believe. Not real old or anything. Um, I do have a bunch of uh, older blue cards that I should be getting. Um, it's not for sure, but I should know by next weekend. Uh, so if you guys um, like the blue cards from like, you're talking 1990, um, I should have a bunch of those coming in in, in various vehicles. So we'll start off with uh, the Hot Wheels Classics. I only got one of these. Um, this is going to be the Plymouth King Cuda. So very similar to what you saw in the basic release line. Um, it's more or less the same casting. No hood again, the motor sticking out. This one kind of has some like ghost flames you can see in there. Like a Spectre flame paint. Very nice attention to detail on these. The uh, Hot Wheels Classic were a very popular uh, lineup. All metal, plastic tires. So the base is metal, the body is, and the wheels are plastic. But Nice white interior, chrome motor, and just detail work all the way around with lights and everything on the back, back and front. So there's a bunch of vehicles. All of these are quite large sets as you can see here. So it's like there's 30 cars in this set. I have quite a few of these. I don't have every one. It depends on the price. Some of these uh, tend to go for uh, quite a bit of money. Um, but uh, if they're the right price, I'll pick it up depending on what it is. But anything that's an old muscle car, um, you can't go wrong with collecting. All right, up next we have a custom 77 Dodge van. So this one I've never seen. This is a 2008 first edition. 
So it features pretty cool paint job. It's in like a purpley type of pink. It changes actually with the light. You see it has a Circle Flame logo, but it is not a treasure hunt. But it's the standard van that they release quite a bit in, but it just has a really cool paint job. So ghost flames kind of through it. It says Hot Wheels there on the door, Dodge on the bottom. Metal body, plastic base, and plastic tires. But if you like vans and trucks and whatnot, uh, it's a good one to add to the collection. Like I said, this one's going to rain. This one's going to be 2008. Is there anything you want to pause on there? We're going to get back into some Dodge stuff here. So HW Workshop, 71 Hemi Cuda. Pretty cool casting here. You can see it's got a really nice stance. It's kind of like it's lowered down. Um, nice paintwork with the um, flames. You can see the Hemi goes into a flame. Just a nice attention to detail. Very cool car here. These are pretty popular um, muscle day world. So you see a, a bunch of these around. Um, once you're there, you see a ton of them, but you do see some. This one's going to be 2013. Again, HW Workshop, 68 Plymouth Barracuda Formula S. This one I liked again, it has the low stance, but the uh, the paint color is pretty cool on it. Like a, I don't know, like a champagne type of color. The black stripe down the top there as well as on the side got the Plymouth on the back the Hot Wheels logo goes into that graphic pretty cool but pretty cool vehicle and this one's a 2013 as well all right 71 Plymouth Roadrunner 2012 Hot Wheel Premier cool color it's like a purpley pink color but um if you like uh dodge there's lots of dodge fans out there um good attention to detail with these and representing the yeah, you know the real thing so chrome interior black stripe there plymouth logo on the back but just really nice paint job on this as well again all metal plastic base not this one as an opening. Uh, some of these vehicles do have opening uh, hoods and whatnot, but 2011. All right. Eight crate. HW Performance 12. So this one features the moon eyes. Pretty cool little casting here. The vehicle is clearly slammed. Uh, big, uh, probably, I'm not sure it's a wagon of some sort, but I don't know what it would be. Big Moon Eyes logo on the hood. I collect anything that pretty had much has the Moon Eyes on it. I, I like all their stuff. But pretty cool casting. I don't actually have this one either, so. Anything you want to pause on there? 2011 licensing, but it's going to be released for 2012. And we have power panel. So Dodge, you don't see many of these around for sure, but cool little casting. Again, this is kind of a vehicle you're probably either gonna like it or kind of you're probably gonna hate it. It's not the most desirable vehicle, but nice attention to detail on it. Base, it kind of has that champagne type of paint again. Full set. There's five in this series to collect, and they're all in the back right here. And this is going to be 2005. All right, we have Roadrunner 1970. Um, only picked this one up. Um, I had mentioned before anything with um, like a logo on it or whatever, whether it's food related or gas related or whatever um, or par auto parts whatever but this one's nestle o henry 
So got the graphic on the back there. Pretty cool car in itself, but uh, this one's gonna be a bit of an older one here. Um, this one's 1998. Pretty cool, they have quite a few. You can see here, this is of a set too. I have the full set of this already. That's just an extra. And then we have 1970 Plymouth Barracuda. So Mopar Madness. So this is one of five as well. Again, you can see that the vehicle is clearly slammed on the ground, which just looks cool. Uh, some people may not like that, but it's a, it's a look I like. Um, I had mentioned before, I got a Chevy Blazer, S10 Blazer, and it's lowered, and I quite enjoy that look for sure. So, up in Canada, we had some, uh, had a car show today actually, but uh, it's only there a couple hours, it got so cold. We had um, humidity of like, it was like 40 degrees outside, and now we're hitting like 10 degrees in the morning, so. Went from shorts to um, wearing a coat. This one here is 2005. Rain, we have the Carbonate Cruiser Chevelle SS. So here features the root beer logo. Pretty cool. I already have one of these, but uh, it was only a, a dollar, so I picked it up. Pretty cool graphics on this one, though, as well. Root beer on the hood. Root beer color. Again, metal body, plastic base. You can see the other cars in the set right here looking for any of those gives you the picture of them all there 2002 the last one we got is the uh, Motown metal 70 Plymouth Roadrunner again three of five but pretty cool um, color on this vehicle it's got a good stance to it and graphic work it's got some neat little flames going down the uh, trunk lid and the hood but overall, neat little casting here. Detail work is pretty nice. Green was pretty popular back in the day for these vehicles, so goes with the era. And again, you can see the other vehicles right here. And this is 2006 if you're looking to collect any of these. That's gonna wrap it up for basically these Hot Wheels ones. I got a few other ones we'll go over. All right, up next we have the Hot Wheels Forza Motorsports. So these are their higher end release stuff, um, all metal casting rubber tires. So we'll run down these. They have really nice graphic work on the cards um, as well as the vehicles. 73 Ford Falcon XB, number one of five. So this has kind of a basic paint job on it, but um, very nicely done. It's got a good stance to it. Uh, rubber tires all around, like I said. Um, just very nice attention to detail in their casting. It has front lights, chrome bumpers, rear lights. Just uh, nice detailing. Um, I wasn't actually able to find these. These are um, 2016 release. I wasn't able to find these actually in the store at all. But um, John, when I buy some items run on on a regular basis had these not the full set but the vehicles that I would typically buy anyway so that worked out quite well you can see you get the the Falcon obviously we have Ford GT Alfa Romeo which we have um, 2012 Camaro ZL1 concept and the Lamborghini Lamborghini would be pretty popular as well as the Ford GT um, those vehicles always seem to go first I would uh, like these three here myself if I could um, I'd probably get the whole set if it was the right price but um, these are nice um, castings they're a little hard to see in this type of packaging um, but I like the artwork on the card and uh, removing them I mean they take up a lot of space on your wall they take up a lot on this but uh, if you stack them um, I mean, I keep it for the artwork, but you can stack them on the wall like something like that and you can get quite a few um, to display instead of just taking them out of the packaging. But Next one we got again Forza Motorsports Alpha Romeo 3 of 5. This one has a little bit more graphic works going on. Some sponsors as the Firestone 
Forza Motorsports there on the door. Uh, again, it's an all metal casting. Rubber tires. Very nice uh, little vehicle here. I actually quite like the Alfa Romeo stuff that they've produced. Green stripe on the hood. And it goes down to the grill there. Very nice, um, very nice vehicle here. And again, the backs are the same for these ones. So there is obviously five vehicles in this set. Um, I'll, I'll keep hunting for them, but it's not something. If I come across them, great. If not, then I'm not too worried about it. Next up is going to be Hot Wheels again. This is the Gran Turismo set. So I don't have all of them again. This one here is three of five, the Nissan Concept 2020 Vision GT. Kind of an interesting vehicle here. Um, not something like I say that I typically collect. Um, it's an all metal rubber tires again, but it's it's got some nice details on it. A lot of people probably really like this vehicle, but um, artwork on the card is not too, too bad. And quite a few in the set, same era, 2016. But you can see there's a Ford GT. I'd like the Corvette myself. So we're looking at now, and then a Lamborghini, and we have the Nissan. So if there's anything you want to pause on there for the set. Um, it's a neat little set to have. Used to always play this game, so not gonna go wrong with picking up these for the right price. This one's five of five, 2009 Nissan GTR. Pretty popular vehicle here. Uh, it's a pretty pretty cool car. I've seen these in person there. They are definitely a nice vehicle. It's got lots of graphics, got the Grand Turismo on the hood. Got the Nissan symbol, lots of stuff going on here. But uh, attention to detail is pretty good on these. Again, all metal rubber tires. So if you're looking for anything like this, you can find it um, secondhand out there for sure. Um, if you're new to collecting and stuff like that, I always like to stress is just don't just buy it and pay a ton of money for it. Um, I mean, some of the stuff, yeah, it holds their value, it's worth a lot, but. Reality is they produced tons of these cars. There's not really anything rare about one particular car. Some people will, will purchase one particular car. They kind of hoard them and sell them because it is going to be popular. That's the only reason why they do it. But um, almost everything you see here is, is mass produced in huge, huge numbers. So uh, unless it's something that's a special edition where it's very limited or something like that, I mean, the stuff really isn't worth that much. So. Just enjoy the hobby and have fun collecting. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, just covered all, basically all the um, the Hot Wheels and stuff I was able to find. Um, this is basically a, the weekly haul here. Um, I have a bunch of other um, product to go over. I'll do that in a separate video just to keep them not too, too long here. But um, if you guys have any questions about anything or wanna see anything more detail, uh, feel free to just leave a comment below. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Bye.